YouTube, what's going on? Andrew Darling here, Mr. Darling 4. Guys, I got a couple different keyboard setups uh, for the new iPad Pro 10.5. The first one is with the regular smart cover and the Apple Magic Keyboard. And the second one is with the keyboard cover. So I'll go ahead and get, the, get you to those. Uh, like and subscribe below. Let me know any comments you have uh, about this device. I am loving the iPad Pro 10.5 right now. Uh, it's going to be amazing for me for school and whatnot. Of course, this is the LTE version, uh, 256 gigs. So let me know in the comments what you think. Here are those videos, and I'm actually going to edit all this stuff on the iPad Pro. So let me know what you think, and uh, we'll talk to you uh, very, very soon. One of the things I thought I'd do to make the iPad Pro better was to not get the um, keyboard cover and to just get the regular smart cover and a Magic Keyboard. So most of the use that I had when I had the larger iPad Pro was with the pencil. And I would use the pencil and it almost felt like I would very rarely use the keyboard. What I'm learning now is even though this keyboard is a lot better for typing, one thing that I realized is that it's not always with me. And it's not always with me because it's in my backpack or it's whatever. Now when I start school again, this, this, this setup here would probably work. I would go through and I would use the Apple Pencil and I would write notes whenever. And then I would put just using this keyboard is much faster and more accurate than the type cover or the Apple Smart Keyboard. But the more I use it sort of intermittently, I realize that when I take notes and I do use the keyboard, I find myself really wishing I had the keyboard with me at all times. So while the Magic Keyboard is incredible and this regular smart cover keeps the device super thin, um, and we'll show you even that right here. So the device here, when you put the smart cover on it, I mean, it's barely adds anything to it, which is sort of the design of it. And then of course you have the the screen turns on and off with the smart cover. But it does do the same thing with the smart keyboard cover. Uh, so we'll probably go ahead and, and swap these out uh, for that. But so far I'm loving the iPad Pro uh, 10.5. So let's see what it looks like uh, with the smart keyboard on it. All right, so we got them swapped out. Um, took it back to the Apple Store, took the Magic Keyboard back and the other smart cover. Now I have the smart keyboard, Apple smart keyboard for the iPad Pro 10.5. So even though this keyboard is not as good as the Magic Keyboard, it will work great. So, and what, is, what does that mean? If you look here, you can tell from the video that we just you know, cropped from, the Magic Keyboard is a little bit wider. It's a full-size keyboard. Now, obviously, it's not your full-size sort of like a Logitech keyboard, which has your number pad and all that stuff. Um, but just looking at the, the smart cover here, or the smart keyboard cover, it's it's actually gonna be pretty fast and accurate. I thought it was gonna be you know, a little bit worse uh, than the 9.7 one, but it's actually a little bit better. Uh, and it's not that different from the 12.9 inch one, which I had for a while. So now we'll go ahead and look and see what the, uh, what the difference is here in size. So if you look, it really doesn't add that much. Um, yes, you can clearly tell the difference versus the smart cover, which was you know, almost non-existent. But, and then here, there's no, like you can't flip the edge because you have to go all the way to the back of the keyboard, but it does turn the device on um, in the same way that the smart cover does. So I'm really loving the iPad Pro uh, 10.5 right now. That was just a couple of different keyboard options uh, for those of you out there thinking about getting it. Depends what your use is. Whenever I want to take a quick note, and this is really the reason that I ended up taking the Magic Keyboard back. Whenever I want to take a quick note, bam, there it is. And you can just take your notes. Take notes with no issue, if I could spell today. But there it is, that's it. That's just two different keyboard setups here for the iPad Pro. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments and what else you wanna see from the iPad Pro 10.5. Thank you so much.